back again with another battlefield with another battlefield another battlefield 20 <sighs> back again with another 2042 video today this time discussing the five new weapons added as part of season two master of arms now five new guns sounds pretty good they're definitely needed in all-out warfare and it's great we're getting more right wrong you see all five yes every single gun added with season two is broken and not in the overpowered look how good it is way well except maybe for the advances no they are fundamentally buggy and broken in multiple ways which as depressing as that is it's also kind of impressive that they managed to have all five new weapons be terribly implemented and to me is so much more alarming than the bugs themselves and i'll explain let's start with the am40 on paper this gun sounds super fun a nice hybrid between an smg and assault rifle however despite being classified as an assault rifle this rifle uses the SMG headshot multiplier. Headshots, of course, multiply your damage by a set amount, and each weapon type has a different multiplier for balance purposes, most of which were changed with patch 2.0. As of 2.0, the AR multiplier is supposed to be 2.15x, or 2.15 times damage, which is true for all ARs except, of course, for the AM40, which uses the SMG multiplier of 1.25x, which, as you guessed, puts you at a pretty significant disadvantage when using this rifle, and it makes it feel much weaker than it was probably intended to be. In addition to this, the bullet counts for the different magazines are different in game than their menu descriptions, so the drum mag in menu will say 50 rounds, while in reality it only has 40. That's kind of a minor thing, but if that wasn't enough, the gun also features a buggy recoil pattern that has also been discovered by some players. The new LMG, the Avancis, unfortunately has the same multiplier issue. While all other LMGs, well, really the only other two that were in the game, still a pathetically low number, have a 2x multiplier, the Avancis only has 1.25 as well. By all accounts, so far the Avancis is still an absolute beast with almost no recoil, 200 rounds, and still enough killing power that this thing is probably going to be nerfed shortly, but I'm not sure. I haven't unlocked it yet myself to check it out. Regardless, it's still bugged. The new sidearm, the PF-51, also has the 1.25x for headshots, but maybe this is intended, as this is actually a hybrid pistol SMG anyways. However, given that the other two guns had the same issue, it's almost impossible to tell what's intended or not. So yeah, not super promising work on our three brand new weapons, but what about the touted vault weapons, or aka portal weapons that are being ported over to All Out Warfare? Well, things aren't that much better. <laughs> The M16A3 has a ridiculous underbarrel grenade launcher that when resupplied via Angel's supply crate gives you like 7 grenades that have insane projectile speeds and radius, and it's probably the most broken thing in the game at the moment. However, in addition to this, it also features the old pre 2.0 headshot multiplier of 2x for ARs instead of 2.15, and also really strangely shares a recoil pattern with the PKP of all things. The M60 seems to be in a bit better shape, but honestly if these problems weren't enough, my biggest issue with the vault weapons is the sheer laziness and incompetence in porting these over. That sounds harsh, but despite DICE saying otherwise in previous interviews, these were literally just ported over from Portal. No progression, no camos, just the absolute laziest way they could have gone about implementing these guns into the main game. And it really doesn't justify the drip fed nature of them being added. Now all of these issues I've listed may be hotfixed or addressed in the next patch, I have no idea. They could even be fixed today given how quickly DICE can tweak some things, while other issues languish for months. All I know is that this paints a very grim picture of DICE's competence and attention to detail at this time. If you aren't going to release a lot of content, which of course they haven't, then what you release should at least be really polished, balanced, and detailed, and we're just not getting that either. It's a lack of both quality and quantity, and a lack of content and lack of attention and care that makes these updates feel so lackluster and disappointing. I look at these issues and it's just so apparent to me how small the skeleton crew must be working on this game as these are easily discovered issues that really the players discovered within minutes of the update being live. They really should and could have gone through extensive QA prior to launch to catch these things. I know that there's a lot of internal issues, but to mess up every single new gun added with your latest season is actually quite an achievement. I'm not entirely sure how they pulled that off. This was a very negative video, I didn't intend it to just be a rant about the state of the game there at the end, but honestly it's just really hard not to have every video turn into that. I'll be putting up a full review of Season 2 once I unlock all the weapons and play some more, but that's it for me today, just a nice quick video. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, let me know by leaving a like, and if you didn't like it, a dislike. Until next time.